maybe uh, one uh, experience that I would like to share. Uh, it's short, as always. So it's just one scene. So uh, I'm standing. Uh, my standing point is uh, in the middle, and in front of me, fr from the left side, many people are running toward me or toward the right side, not toward me. Uh, uh, of this, uh, but forward and to the right side. And uh, there is a city kind of uh, 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 on the left side, because I see skyscrapers and high buildings and things like that. And above, between all those buildings and much bigger, uh, there are some kind of uh, uh, robots, let's say, because they look uh, 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 really big. Uh, they look kind of technical, that's why I call them robots. Uh, but they are not uh, like transformers or something like that, which we saw in that film. Uh, they look much more primitive, let's say, and they are walking there on the left side, and all the people from that city are running like toward me and uh, to the my right. Uh, so, and I don't know what does that mean, except that maybe that uh, uh, all we are. Uh, looking at at the moment uh, is uh, that uh, we see that uh, uh, transhumanism in different forms coming into the city lives mainly uh, and uh, people kind of recognize it and uh, uh, try to run uh, from it. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to ask you guys if this ever happened to you guys. Uh, I was standing and uh, just doing my regular thing, and this voice come on. It was only present, to, and it said, "We're going to re uh, readjust your vibration." And the next thing I know, my whole body just uh, like a like a uh, tuning fork. Has anybody ever had that happen to them? Not me. Oh, yeah, I was just curious. Yeah, I want to talk about. I'm going to give you guys. Uh, um, a story about uh, Gopal Diaz. Uh, he came to my house and visit me. I don't. I think. I guess I'm, I go ahead and tell that story. Uh, it was a Saturday, uh, early, uh, late morning, and I was sitting at my uh, bar, drinking coffee, and I happened to. My daughter was sitting on a couch, and I went to turn around to see what she was doing, and something caught my eye, and I went back to look, and I saw these huge blue eyes looking at me, just floating in the air, and I uh, looked to the left and come back, and it was still there, and I looked to the right and come back, and those were real eyes, and I tried to squint to see a bit better, and then a pencil line formed the uh, actual, the, uh, the body was just a pencil line. And then after that, it st started filling in. And it filled in, and it, uh, I, I'm assuming it was, Go it was uh, Gopal. And uh, his pants is filled in, and his body and his, his dress and all that outfit come on. And he had blonde hair. And he smiled at me, and I felt a little bit more comfortable. And then he re-disappeared the same way. His, the inside of his pants uh, disappeared and just left the line. And then the line disappeared and then what was left was the blue eyes. And then they left. I thought I'd give that story. This planet Earth needs a lot of help from all of us. Right now, Dean Val of N U U U Nations United Universal University is contacting people around this world 
every day to share the importance of the all natural environment supporting all of us. Dean Vow and Dwayne Lee Hepner dot org five O one C three have created C A N Community Action Network to help all communities become aware of how to be self sufficient with permaculture and food and rainforests. We are always looking for real people to step up who want to learn what life on this earth is all about. We will be leasing large portions of land to create something wonderful for all communities everywhere. Contact Val Vitals on Skype and Facebook to get involved with what we all can do now or through the phone number provided or the website in the links. Dwayne the Great Writer dot net Join us for weekly environment awareness Skypes every Sunday at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The N U U U Nations United Universal University is dedicated to supporting and providing a real purpose and real awareness with the all natural environment supporting all of us. First comes this earth with food and rainforests and to protect what is still here for those who have the awareness to see what is actually taking place here with all the natural devastation which is also purposely planned by world controllers, you now have a real opportunity to step up and do something with those who also care about your planet Earth. Dwayne Lee Hepner has created the NUUU Nations United Universal University, which completely entails the all natural environment everywhere and a real education that has real value and that far surpasses any commonly created indoctrinating educational system that does not focus on what sustains all of us naturally. Real survival makes sense with everything here that is self-sustaining.